Hello and welcome back to Shenzhen IO. We are working on spoiler blocking headphones. David. I, I could have guessed that it was David. Like many people in the office, I am a huge fan of the miniseries Get the Throne. The heroics, villainy, and sudden plot reversals had my wife Zhao Mei and I waiting with bated breath for each new episode. Unfortunately, we missed last night's, and this morning I overheard people in the office discussing the latest twist before I could say anything. Surely there is some way to prevent being spoiled like this, perhaps with headphones that replace discussion of certain television shows with scrambled audio. <laughs> Sorry about that, mate. Just wanted to make a list of words to listen for, and you can have those trigger the audio override. It was a question. I didn't say it as a question. So let's say it again. You want to make a list of words to listen for and we can have those trigger the audio override? I put a suggested list for several internationally popular Chinese show on your desk. Hopefully you can find it. Bang. Bang. Alright. Whew, this is interesting. <clears throat> so we do need uh, our supplemental data here. Bang. Way at the bottom, way at the bottom. <clears throat> Alright. Ignore that, ignore that. There's the meat. And here we go, David and Jamie's list of spoiler related keywords. So between us, I'm sure the two of you can I'm sure we come up with a pretty comprehensive list. Of course you can just start with get the third for the first product. Thanks for all the hard work. Nice. So we've got I don't like that there's two values for Emperor. That's a little concerning. But, uh, yeah, there we go. These are, these are the values that are gonna come in. And this is something completely different. So, yeah, okay. So I guess I just need those values. And we will see. Audio in has to be one of these two, though I'm not exactly sure which. Ah, I didn't click over, so I just tabbed my uh, manual. Alright, click here, tab. Okay, so one of these is going to be an audio in. Probably an LP. I assume. Input connected to an omnidirectional microphone. Output is a simple output connected to a pair of headphones. Keywords is a non-blocking expert input connected to the all natural. Okay, so there you go. This is natural language processing device that detects spoken words in an audio stream. Override is a simple input connected to a button. The signal from audio in should be copied to audio out until a keyword from the spoiler related keywords after which audio out should be locked to a value of 50 until the override button is pushed. Whew, this is going to be interesting. Alright, so. I'm not exactly sure how to do this because we're getting 575, 646, six, which is okay. That's one of the values. If I bring this back over, so 545, 646 six is actually all six of these digits. So it looks like. And then 712917 is midwife. So both values have to match, okay? So, I somehow have to store. Man. I have to store all that information, which is probably going to take one of these to tell us. And then I somehow have to check 
for all of them. Okay, I think I think I can actually do that. Um, we're gonna pop this fella right here. Maybe don't need this big guy, but we'll start with the big guy. And then I think we're actually going to want a small guy down here. Boop. And boop. And then... Let's go ahead and just tack tack him. And then... Tack tack him. And then we'll move this right down through here. Boop. <clears throat> and that's the design. Hopefully, it works the way I want it to. Is that, is that the way I want it to work? I think it has to be. Which is a problem, actually. This is going to be a little more complicated than it needs to be. Um, yeah, this isn't right. Okay. Get rid of this. Move that back. Um, get rid of this. What I think I want is for this to come around like that. And that to do that, I believe. Okay. So. values in here. We need um, 711. Four nine five five seven five seven one two. We're gonna do very similar to what we did last time in using the two columns by themselves to read the two separate values. I didn't say that well because I was thinking. <laughs> five seven three, buck sixty, six forty five, nine one seven, three six one, and finally four twenty. All right, so let me bring this back over just one more time. So we've got this list of words, uh, Emperor 711, 573, 711, 573, and basically my thought is we're going to want to check if this is equal to this, if it is, if it is going to move over to here and read this one. If it's not, check this one. And just go down the line until a match is hit. And once a match is hit, we'll send the signal to here. If a match is never hit, we'll send a different signal to here. That's the thought right now. But we got to make that work. So, I think the first thing we need to do is uh, move X1 into data, test if data is equal to neg nine nine nine.
I'm a little concerned. I might have to make this a larger ship to do two separate functions. Uh, we'll, we'll see when we get back. <clears throat> so basically, if it is 999, <clears throat> move, um, zero to X, O, I suppose. Sleep, and we'll put a little sleep, sleep one down here, and that'll be that. And I think I need an override here, so we'll put like an over override there. This is going to be test of PO is equal to 100. If no, sleep one, jump override. If yes, I'm actually curious, can I... Let's cut this for now. Can I skip lines? Like that? Let's find out. So... Oh, just a select so... And then just a... Just select so is equal to 100. Fuck it. I think that's gonna be your job. So you're gonna do that. And then you're gonna get that. Okay, you're gonna test that. You're gonna sleep one. And then yes. Okay, we actually can. Okay, we actually can skip line. Cool. So even if I If you ask me to do that, so you can go to sleep and then start over. If not, we want to XO. I think that's what I want. So, right now, have they pressed the button? No, they have not. You send a one out. Okay. Go to sleep. And that's just going to keep happening. You're just going to keep sending ones. Until they do send that out, then you're going to get to zero, go to sleep, and then start reading again. Okay. So, yeah, I think that's what we want to do. As far as that is concerned. <clears throat> My okay, you're moving one to data if it's if it's not equal to negative ninety nine. This this is where it's gonna get a little tough. 
because I've only got a few lines here. So I have to put a test here. Okay. I think I actually need to lose the accumulator. Okay. And then test it the move ACC to uh, X3. And then test it to X2 to so equal to data. If no, one. Yeah, yeah, this is not going to work out. This is not going to work out. I've got no space to add the yeses here, so I mean this is gonna have to be more chips. But how how do I organize them? set that to address it. I probably don't want to do that though. That's probably not the way I want to set that up. So yeah, let's kill that and let's uh, put that there. forward to testing. If not, move uh, data to X2, move 
move x1 to x2. Jump slip, probably. So we send it forward for testing. We can't, I mean, now we can't have this guy. We're going to have to send something. Move one to exo. Okay. How does this chip know when to look for the override? Maybe it doesn't? Maybe we set the override to this chip instead? Maybe we put it on this chip? continue to figure this out and we'll figure out how we have to change this uh, a little bit later. So you're going to select one and then uh, just move x1 into that I suppose and that's going to be the first in the line. So now we're going to start testing. So you need to move um, through the ACC Test move ACC to X3. Test if XO is equal to data. I actually think. That's resetting it here. So, if yes, no, you're gonna have to do the ads. You're gonna have to do the ads. Damn it! I was think I was hoping I could get out of there. Uh, yeah, move ACC to X3. Test X O is equal to data. If 
yes. Move fucking one to X2 would be the answer, but... There's a lot of problems here. Uh, it doesn't read this unless it finds a match, so that's gonna block. And... Well, that might be the only problem. Oh, this thing's on override. Somehow. Jump sleep? Yeah. Well, no, it should jump sleep right there. Yeah, jump sleep, and then it jumps over right. Okay. Yep. Yep, this whole thing's fucked. Alright. Alright. Whole thing is completely wrong. This is a clear the board type of moment here. Like this is this is very very wrong. Very wrong. I still I still think this chip is correct. I do think we need that. We got these things. I've never used one of these. Send the 50, <clears throat> which I don't think is what I want to do. Hundreds. So if it's less than 50, it'll send 100. If it's greater than 50, it'll send zeros. That is interesting. And what do you do? Send them hundreds, huh? No matter what, you're just gonna send a hundred out. Okay, what about here? Does that change? Now you send the zeros. Fascinating. Very fascinating. What if I, instead of moving PO, what if I move just, uh, just zero? Send zero straight through, but if I invert it, you send it hundreds. So 
that is what that does, but it only works hundreds of zeros. Not, uh, not particularly helpful for this sort of thing. So, we need something to read this board. So, let's push you right here. I'm a little concerned with the override button right now, but I feel like he should be able to handle this. I think. I think he can handle this. Alright. Uh, move. one with data. Test if data is equal to negative 99. If yes, move zero. We're gonna, we're gonna actually say x1 here. But we want to just uh, we want to just do that. Move zero to x1 and then jump to sleep. If it's not, we're in test mode. We're in test mode. I'm move zero to the accumulator. Test. Um, test the accumulator to go to seven. If yes. not. We basically see to x3. Test if that is equal to x2. If yes, if yes, add seven. don't have enough on here. Right, and I need to test if XO is equal to X2. Okay. But then I also need to move the 7 over so we're reading the right thing. And I'm just not sure how to do all of this. So this really needs to be a test only board. Like this needs to we, we can get rid of like three lines. Which might be just enough. So that's what we're gonna have to do. This is gonna have to be like a test only board really. Flex, well, no, hold up. Sleep. Select so. Move X data. 
zero the accumulator. Test. Accumulator goes to seven. Yes. Move one. Move a zero to X one. Jump sleep. If no. If no. C to X3. Test if X2 is equal to data. If no, add 1. Jump test if yes. Add 7. This doesn't work. We only move the second value in it might not be a problem we only move the second value in if it finds a match on the first value but It'll go through the cycle again looking for the second value, so it's not a huge problem. I don't think. Let's see. What do you do? Whoops. Okay. Now, let, let, let's just stick a bo uh, board in here just to make that not crazy. So to the accumulator. Test if it's equal to negative nine. Yes, jump to sleep. If not, move A to C to X2. case it actually is going to find a match. Uh, yes it is, and seven. Move it out. That's good. And then test that. But it's nothing, so it goes to sleep. Meanwhile. Okay, now that actually worked. That's actually that actually works as intended. But here 575. Oh, here it actually is. It's gonna find a match here as well. Is the first is the first number always a match? No. Okay. Good. So let's go here where it's not a match. This is what I want to see. So 565 gets sent through, and that's testing. It looks for that. Nope. Nope. Not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. Okay. Be equal to six. Just learn that. Okay, try that again. All right. So we're looking, 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 looking. Okay, it is equal to six. So we're gonna move to zero out, which is great, and we're gonna jump to sleep. But it's waiting. This 160 is coming through. So now it's gonna look for this. But it's not going to find a double match. 
The only way that really becomes a problem is if the second number matches a number here in the first column. And let's see if there's anywhere that that's the case. So not on this board, no. There's nowhere that this happens. Maybe it'll happen in a later test, but for now, you know, this is actually working just fine. So I think what we really ought to do, and I don't know if I can, but let's give this a shot. We could connect these. So if yes, move. This is gonna have to. You're gonna have to back up a step. If you don't mind that. Okay. So yeah, you're gonna move a zero. Curious. You're gonna move that zero down, you're gonna take that zero. Okay, good. That's what I want. That is what I want. Yeah, because it's it's got X1 connected here, so it's not gonna it's not waking up for X1. That's good. Yeah, that'll work. So now we can do this part of it. But we need and what do we need here? This override button. This override button is causing a problem. Because you could, you can send this out, no problem, until you get a one. Once you get a one, you're gonna send 50 out. Wait for this, which is actually fine, except that you do not have, like, I can't, I can't put it in here as much as I'd like to. No, you can't receive this, so. I think, I think the answer here, as much as I don't like it, is to just tuck in a little, little chippy right there. Doesn't quite fit there, we need one more. Which is not hard to do, we just cut this down like this. And this like this, and there you go, that's that. Now you can move him over, put that there, put this here. And just, and I might even make this a big chip if we if we need it. I think we will. <laughs> I honestly, I think we're going to need that. So that's going to complicate things just a, just a tad here. So, ooh, you can do that, but you are see so you you guys are you guys are twisted. You guys need to change your story a little bit. Got a plan. Got a plan. Okay. 
this the fridge here. Alright, so that's that. <clears throat> Test if PO is equal to 100. If yes, move uh, 1 to x1. If no, move 0 to x1. So that's just there. I mean, it's a very simple procedure that we wouldn't need if I could switch out one of these ports. If this port were a simple input instead of an XBus, it would be fine. We wouldn't need this at all. But it's not, so we're just converting this signal to XBus so that this guy can read it. So, now. The first thing you're going to do you're going to move EXO into the accumulator. You're going to test if the accumulator is equal to 1. If no, to P1, jump slip, and down here, whoop. jump slip, thank you, and down here, sleep sleep on. If it is, if we get a 1, we are moving into If it is a 1, if we got a 1 from this guy, then we jump into override. Override is going to say... <clears throat> test if data is equal to 1. Yes. I feel like I got a slight problem here. But because we've already moved that in. So let's put this here. That's one of that just to clear it. And then here. No, see, that's gonna fuck it up again. God damn it. Okay, so let's get rid of it here. Let's sweep the back. Uh, P1. Oh, that's 
Okay. But if not, if... If we haven't gotten the zero from this guy, we're going to... Move 50 out. Repeat that stuff. I, I think. Oops. Copy. Paste. And then jump. Oh. And I think that might actually do it. Uh, we're going to test it. We're going to look for an error. But right now, I, f I feel we got a chance at this working. So let's see. Immediately. That is an issue. So that yeah, this chip needs to send out a zero if it fails. If yes, move zero to x one. It did. It did send out a zero. Or it should have. It doesn't find. Oh, it, it does find that match down there. Okay. And now it's gonna move. All oh, right. That was actually. Uh, an OBS crash, which is the first time that's plagued us. Uh, we lost about 20 minutes there. Could have been a lot worse. I'd been recording for about an hour and 20, I think. And we, we have still about 55 minutes of that left. I'm not sure the exact numbers, but we lost you know 20 to 25 minutes, I would say, where we could have lost 80 minutes. And so I'm grateful that we didn't lose at all. But it is unfortunate that we lost some. So I just want to do a quick little recap of where I am now, because I did do some changes in that time that we lost. So at this point, it works for a little while until it gets to here. And it's failing here because this is the first packet where this first number does not match anything on this column. And I actually said that at the time that if it doesn't find a match here, it's going to have a problem. And so it goes through and it tests everything and it doesn't find it, so it sends a zero out. I didn't find anything. But this guy's still an override. So as this one goes out, it's going to you know, look again. It, it didn't really sleep a cycle because it got woken up right away. which is exactly what I said the problem would be. It, I need to be able to burn this digit if we didn't find a match here. Just burn it. But that's not possible. So yeah, he's it's waiting to find out the results. It's a zero, okay, so it jumps to over. And then this unit doesn't sleep at all. It goes right back to testing. This guy, however, is now sleeping. And this guy's going to test that next digit and find that there's nothing, send the nothing through, but we're not waiting for a nothing here. Because there's no real reason to. You know, we already know it's nothing. We waited a cycle. This guy should be asleep. But he's not because it didn't burn that last digit. And so I just need to find a way to burn that last digit. And I don't want to I'm going to pull that up. I mean, just one more line of code. Again, it's become my catchphrase, just one more line of code. I could say that if this is less than five, if it's not less than five, just test if this is equal to one. And that would be it. Just do just do that. It's burned. And, and we're good. But, but I don't have that line.
only thing I can think. If maybe I put these in sequence. Maybe I could get rid of this, like, add seven stuff and move to accumulator stuff. But this is, that's going to be a whole, like, rewrite there. So let's, uh, let's do the old save that for posterity. And let's, uh, let's give that a shot. Actually, let's see if we can figure that out. So this needs to be... Press in 3, 495, 160, press in 5, 645, 712, 397, 356, 361, whoops, up here 361, 38, 420, 0. Okay, so that's that. So now, this is going to be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's going to be like less than twelve. Let's not do that. Just move it into data. It's fine. Just move that to data. It's fine. And then jump to sleep. And we'll put a little sleep up here. Okay, if it's not less than one, we need to do what? Test if x2. Let's see. Move zero to x3 right there. Whoop. Zero to x3 right there. Okay. No, not data to data. Move to data. Jesus. Okay. And then here, test if data is equal to x2. If yes. works. Move X3. God damn it. What am I doing? X3. Accumulator. Add one. Jump. Test. If yes. Uh, test. If 
yes. Move one, back one. Let's give that a shot. Immediately blocks. I, can't, I think I like the idea, though. So you move this 3, 5, 6 out. You move the 1 in, that's good. Now it's a 2. Jump to test. There's your 3, 5, 6. Now is the next digit the same? It's not, so you're just going to sleep. Okay. still works the same sort of way, but it doesn't. need to add one? I don't think we do. If no, move zero to x1, it's fine. Just do that. Oh, wow! That's super close. That is super close. Alright, well, so what happens? Well, everything's right here, but we're getting this P1, so you're gonna take this If we just, if we cut this and put it up here, does that fix it? No, that blocks it. What the fuck? Why? Why does that block it? What happened? Okay, so you move this number in, you jump to the override, you move the guy in, it is one. So you move the value 84 out. Oh, okay. So let's... to do the talk through. I mean, here's the difference. The, the difference is I put these all together. So the first word, part one, part two, is right here. And it, it's just testing both sequences. So it's not testing for six words. It's actually just testing for 12. It's testing for 711, 573. And then it's also testing for 573495. So it's testing for 12 different words instead of just the six. And by having it do that, I no longer have to do any, you know, add this and then move it out here to put the arrow where it needs to be. 
we're just allowing it to cycle through the whole thing and once it gets to the zero it stops and it shuts itself off so that was the difference we're not we're no longer we, we move the zero here we clear it and then that's and then here we move which I actually you heard me I didn't know if I could do that we're actually moving this address value back to the accumulator and so we're not adding one each cycle to see if we've done 12 cycles we're just bringing it back because this thing already knows what cycle it's on so we're just bringing that back so no more add no more move accumulator to here except for the first time and that cleared up enough space on this chip to do what we wanted to do so let's do the talk through because you know I like to give myself some talk through first thing it's going to bring in the word from the input. So these are words being spoken, I suppose. Brings that in. Is it negative 99? If it is, uh, move a zero out to this chip and go to sleep. This guy brings that in. Test if it's a one. If it's not, just move the frequency in a weird, man, that's an interesting path. Move that just straight through to the audio out and then go to sleep. You're done. This guy is sleeping until he's told something else. This thing is testing if this button's been pressed. If it has not been pressed, just send a zero out to here. If it has been pressed, send a one out to there. So let me actually reset that, because you bring this zero in here, you test if it's a one, it's not. You move, the, you move that frequency out, and then you just move this in, and you don't care. You go to sleep. You don't do anything with that information, you just take it because this chip's trying to give it to you. Okay, but once we've actually got a word, so it takes in this 356, it's now going to move that over to this guy, and then move the second three digits of the word into this port while this guy waits for it. So, uh, this moves a it moves zero to the accumulator, it moves a zero to here to clear that, and then now it's testing. Yeah. Have we done the twelfth digit? So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is it less than this digit? Which means is it a valid digit? Basically these two are not valid. Is it less than a value? It's, if, it's, if it's not, we're just going to do this stuff, but since we are less than 12, we're going to jump over here, we're going to test the number that we stored, which is the first half, 356, is that equal to what's here? So we're now... We're just using this area, yeah, we're, we're just going to test the one this area is pointing at, is it equal to what's in the data? If it's not, then move this, this is the part, move this address, where is the arrow, move that into the accumulator. So this was at zero, it moved down to one, it's going to move that to the accumulator, and then jump back and test the next digit. Uh, was it was that digit 12 is basically what this is asking was that digit 12 uh, a no means we jump down if it was not 12 we jump down here if it was 12 we do these that's a little bit confusing I could change that to make it less confusing but I'm not going to so is it less than 12? Is it a valid digit is how we're going to ask that. Is it a valid digit? Yes it is. Uh, does it match the digit I sent? Nope. Jump to test. Same thing. Go through all of these until I think we're actually going to find this. Yeah, 356 is way over there. So we move it. We bring it back. We're now on digit 8. Okay, that's fine. That's less than 12. Is it equal? Yes it is. If it is, we're going to skip the thing that has us jump back, and we're just going to now test, is he, 
does this now equal this digit? Because they need to be in, an, in a row. It needs to be two in a row to form the word we're looking for. Is it equal? Is this 309 equal to what this arrow is pointing out? No, it's not. Move a zero out to here. You are still safe. It's still a zero, so you are still safe to just send it straight through. No problem. And that's how we're going to keep going until we actually do find a matching digit. So send the 575 out, store that in data, clear the accumulator, clear the, the card reader. I'm calling this a card reader because that's where I first used it. And then do the testing. We're looking for 575. Okay, we found it right here. Test if it's less than 12. It is. So, test if 645 is equal to what? Well, no, first it's testing. Is that equal? Yes, it is. So, skip these two. Test if 645 is equal to what the air is pointing out. Yes, it is. Send a 1 out to this thing. It receives a 1, so that jumps it into the override mode. And in override mode, it's going to bring in this value, which is going to be a 0 or a 1. Test if it's equal to 1. It's not. So just move 50 out because that's the noise blocker. Sleep. And then now it's actually going to wait for the next thing from these chips. Even though it doesn't care. It doesn't care what these chips are doing. But one of them is going to send a digit out. So it's just it has to receive it or the whole thing's going to block. So that's what it does. And now it's just looking for the button to be pressed. And finally, here it is. So it moves the value they sent, jumps to override, moves the value this chip sent, which is actually a one this time. So now it can just move the, the standard value out, jump to sleep, which is sleep one, and then go about its business. Now, the only thing I really want to show here 565 which is not on this board at all this is the only thing I haven't showed so it's gonna look for 565 and it's never gonna find it so it's just keep, gonna keep jumping back to test until finally jump to test is it less than 12 yes it is is it equal and now we move the address back and it's gonna be 12 so move that in jump to test is it equal to 12, or is it less than 12? No, it's not. Move a zero out. I didn't find anything. And then we're just gonna store this data, which is, this is the last block I had, was that this data was still sitting out there. But because I'm no longer doing the add, and, you know, add, add seven or add one, or move the address each time, we now have an extra line here where I can just say, well, just store that in the data. We don't really need it. Just store it so this guy doesn't block. And then go to sleep and start over. And we are fantastic and we are working and everything is awesome. And thank you for watching. The only thought that occurs to me as this just about clears, I could replace this with this and save two bucks. But I don't care. <laughs> so we're not going to do that. And there you go. Actually, power usage is not far off, but lines of code, I'm way up on this. And production cost a little bit up but yeah we got it working and you know that's all i care about you have made many fans of the popular shows like get the throne happy to know they are not in danger of spoilers as they walk into the office in the morning certainly my wife jamie and i are very much looking forward to last night's episode knowing that we would be genuinely shocked by the episode by the events to come you're going to love it man i can't believe the emperor was actually alive this whole time fuck you joe you're a piece of shit cool dad is back
Hey, remember the cool dad thing from a while back when he got arrested before we could start the tour and we got stuck with all those color changing vape pens and it was kind of a disaster? Well, I just got a call from his people and his tour is back on! They want the inventory! We don't have to dump them after all, they might even want more! I'm so happy right now. Luli says, uh, finally some good news today. I was very close to telling the accountants to take a write down on all that stock. Carl says, hang on. Are we sure this all wasn't just some elaborate publicity stunt? You know, the old concert's off, no way to someone again, ruse, no? Just me? All right, then. Joe, there's a rumor online that Cool Dad was actually framed by his twin rivals, DJ Like and DJ Subscribe. Awesome. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, David, will we get some sort of special deal on tickets? Job me now would be interesting. Gone. And there we go. Three more to go. I hope you'll join us. <laughs>